This painting is The Swing by Jean-Henri Fragonard, um, who was an 18th century French painter who catered to the tastes of, the frivolous tastes of French noblemen. Um, his paintings exude pleasure and happiness, which is typical for the Rococo period. Um, the common characteristics of Rococo art are pastel colors, uh, figures with thin, lean, graceful statures, uh, wispy breast strokes, and they're usually about fête galant, which are paintings of nobles playing outside. Um, with Rococo paintings, uh, these paintings weren't meant to inspire feelings or display messages. They were more just used as background pieces um, as decoration. This painting is actually a joke. Um, it was commissioned by a French baron who is actually stealing from the church. Um, this baron is being depicted at the left of the painting um, as a young man in the bushes, hidden in the bushes. Um, the church is being depicted by a priest who is unknowingly pushing a young girl towards the direction of the baron presented as the young lover. And uh, this is also representative of their excessiveness and extravagance as she isn't even required to, to push herself. She has someone else there to push herself and she doesn't even have to do any work. Okay, um, so as the lady goes high on the swing, she lets um, the young man take a peep under her dress. Um, what is ironic about this is that she is wearing a shepherdess hat. Um, this is ironic because shepherds were normally associated with uh, virtue because they worked close with nature and were uncorrupted by temptations. Okay, so in this painting there's a lot of hidden symbols. Um, for one, uh, you can see there's a row of short fencing surrounding the man in the bushes. Uh, that can show that he is not supposed to be there, um, adding to the naughtiness of what they're doing and showing that they're definitely breaking the rules. Um, the, the overgrown bushes, uh, you can see he, uh, he's in the flowers and the roses and they're growing over him, uh, can show uh, the overgrown power and excessiveness of the uh, aristocracy at this time. Um, the statue of an angelic figure um, with a finger to his lips sort of shushing the whole affair also um, alludes to the fact that this young man is not supposed to be here. Yeah, and um, down in the lower right hand corner there is a little dog uh, yapping. Uh, the dog is a symbol of fidelity which would explain why uh, it's upset at the actions going on in front of him. Um, this whole painting is a great example of Rococo art as seen in the pastel colors, um, the sweeping, the swooping and uh, landscape and very rich foliage. Also down in the lower right hand corner is a statue of two little cupids uh, playing together on what could be a beehive, uh, which could be meaningful of the sting of love. Ooh. It was this decadence as displayed in the swing that led to a reaction um, by enlightened philosophers who demanded a more serious art form which would show the nobility of man and this reaction um, was known as neoclassicism. Uh, this painting is currently housed in the Wallace Collection in London. Mm -hmm.